Nashville Police. The two men accused of killing Wendy Fisher have been found guilty of murder. The case against Trayon Washington and Pat Brown wrapped up after just three days of testimony. Fisher was shot and killed outside her home back in 2012 after police say she yelled at a car to slow down as it passed by her house. Jurors handed down the verdict this afternoon. Local 15's Darwin Singleton joins us. Darwin, the victim's family, says justice has finally been served. And a bittersweet victory for Wendy Fisher's family, Greg. But bitter disappointment for Trayon Washington's mother, who said God had shown her Trayon was innocent. But a jury of Trayon Washington's peers disagreed. After witnessing the murder of her mother in July of 2012, Madeline North has lived her life like a roller coaster. Sometimes I have my good days and sometimes I have my bad days. But today is a good day. Today is a very good day. And I can't stop smiling. Madeline North had just heard a jury declare 19 year old Trayon Washington and his brother Pat Brown guilty of Wendy Fisher's murder. A jury agreed with prosecutors that Fisher was gunned down by Washington as she was yelling at a car to slow down through her neighborhood. Jurors agreed Brown was behind the wheel and played a key role in the murder. Wendy Fisher's mother, Carol Fisher. It's been very difficult as a mother and as a father to sit through a trial and listen to people tell the story over and over about how our daughter's life was taken. But all through those times, we kept waiting for justice. That's what we were waiting for was justice. What Charlene Washington was waiting for was an answer to a prayer. I know my son is not the killer. The killer is still out there. And God would not fail me. I'm going to tell my son I'm sorry, but keep praying. The truth will come out one day. It's going to happen. My son did not kill Miss Wendy Fisher. The trial may be over, but not the memories of that day. Boyfriend Robert Russo's painful testimony of Wendy's final words will not be erased by any jury's decision. You, you can't push them out. You know, they're, they're there forever. But uh, you, you try and push them to the side and remember all the good things. You know, and, uh, and that's really all you can do at this point, just focus on the good. Both Washington and Brown are set for sentencing on February 27th. Each could receive from 10 years to life in prison. Greg? Darwin, thank you. Officers